Tere, Tere Tulemas, uh, POF TV, and welcome to another conversation about the movies uh, we have in Tallinn Black Nights. In this case, we're going to speak about Hace Mucho Que No Duermo, Long Time No Sleep, uh, one of the movies in Rebels With A Cause competition, you know, the section for the boldest filmmakers and ready to challenge the audience. And for introducing that movie and discuss a little bit about it, we have here Agustin. Bienvenido, buenas. <laughs> Uh, this is one of the movies that we kind of selected almost at the end because, I mean, we were really catched by the movie, really engaged the whole length, and we decided that we have to make fit this because it give it the last balance and the last spark to mm -hmm. the selection. So I think this is what the movie offers to audience, that if we were almost in the last stage of selection and we still thought like, we need to have this, so the audience uh, would need this too. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Um, when, we, when we started making it, uh, we made this without any money at all. <laughs> so it was very much people had to donate their, their time or like come when, whenever they could. So the idea was, let's just make a film that we can have fun while making. Mm -hmm. Like let's just and everyone pitched in ideas like I would want to do this or I would mm -hmm. want to do that, and I kind of structured it so that we could all kind of mm -hmm. get what we wanted, and I think that shows through the film and mm -hmm. that's the like that's the invitation pretty much like hopefully let's it's as fun, fun that, yeah right? yeah it's yeah. as fun to watch it as it, as yeah, it was yeah. for us to make it yeah actually I have much fun I mean first the the first like ten minutes I was just caught like having fun but not even knowing what's going on so <laughs> like which is more fun even um, but then it almost uh, goes to a thriller and then all of a sudden I was realizing that it was like uh, becoming kind of a love story and then again a thriller and I was like and then a comedy all the time you know <laughs> and then what was the, the idea I mean you conceived this as a mix of genres since the beginning or uh, I think so, yes. Um, no, more of a comedy, and then everything I tend to do tends to be a love story. I don't know why. But, I mean, <laughs> yeah, but... <laughs> in it, some places, yeah. It's funny because if you put the elements all in a different places, you don't think that putting them together, it works as a comedy. But <laughs> then, kind of. No, it's just... Yeah, it, I think it's more of a tone thing. So I was more looking at the tone. Okay. Of the film. Okay. So my idea was actually, in terms of structure, was to make the Maltese Falcon. Okay. But with delirious people. Yeah. <laughs> so Be it's like because a you Falcon, have like it's a black uh, backpack, and they yeah. every there's like three different groups that want the pack, and nobody gets it, you and that just becomes like an excuse to go around Buenos Aires. <laughs> yeah, because I mean, if you look at it, you see a bunch of gang of thugs, you know, gangs of people like yeah. you know, with uh, with not really happy face. But then, a couple who no one's know why uh, they speak in verse, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> which is like okay, <laughs> and all the time running. So it's like, you just wanted to challenge the police of Buenos Aires, <laughs> kind of uh, <laughs> sometimes. And also remember, we 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 spent four years shooting it. Oh wow! One yeah. of them was. 2020, where we so couldn't even perfect, shoot. But perfect moment it for would shooting have, that. It would have been, but we Buenos couldn't Aires, go out. No. Yeah, 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 the yeah. quarantine was very, very strict, so for a year we couldn't shoot. So it was 2018, 19, and 21 we could shoot, um, trying to avoid masks and everything mm -hmm. after mm -hmm. 20, yeah. 2020, because that we didn't want those uh, to go in. So it was kind of a challenge to people and police, and, <laughs> and mm -hmm. we didn't have permits for anything. Yeah. So... That's why you are running all the time. Yeah. <laughs> actually, actually, the title, I think, is referring to the police of Buenos <laughs> <laughs> They have long time not live with your shooting. <laughs> like being behind no, you. we did We did have this idea of, uh, like, uh, what was it, in Banda Part? Yeah. In Godard's Banda yeah, Part, yeah, yeah, where yeah, they yeah. run through the museum. This kind of idea of ro running through holy places or, like... Okay, so this so uh, th this sequence with, of uh, Banda Part is, like, uh, an inspiration. Yeah, yeah, a lot. Iconic... Running away to yeah, through I the felt loop. like it was very much uh, an idea that the film had, and that I think got stronger after the pandemic, after we spent a year locked up, which was like kind of a way of owning the city. Uh -huh. 
not like co- not yeah, yeah, yeah. In colonization terms, but in terms of being out there and like yeah, being yeah. able to go wherever you please in the city. A really 2021 idea, no? Yeah. Retaking the spaces. Yeah, 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 like exactly. Again. So that was kind of the idea that I think is, is in that film as well. We were just like, uh, let's just go wherever we please. And then we did get no's from a lot of places. Uh-huh, There's uh-huh. places we couldn't shoot because they didn't let us. And other places that we managed to shoot quickly before they, <laughs> yeah, they yeah, realized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I, you know, the point is like I'm. Tr- we're trying here to to discuss and also share with uh, potential audience the movie. But it's not that I don't want to make any spoiler because the yeah. no spoiler, yeah. no. But I don't want to really share anything to steal the this feeling of uh, knowing it for the first time to the audience. You know because. For me, the good feeling of the movie was discovering what's going next, even in the first two minutes, you know? So even writing the text was difficult because what I can tell without <laughs> uh, making them disap- um, stealing some, some, some no, good I vibes don't, from I, them, I, you know? I, yeah. And it's like, let them enjoy, just let's tell them it's a crazy movie, let's tell them it's a mix of genres, but they, they are going to have fun all the time. I yeah, hopefully. I think is, no? that's what the movie is, yeah, for sure. Um, I don't know what... Every, every time somebody comes and asks me, what what's the movie about? Um, I, I, I have a really <laughs> difficult time to say. Because I could say, like, a version of the plot, but it's not what the film is about, really. Like, if I told you about the love story or the what's going on with the backpack, it's not the whole of it, really. Yeah. The whole of it is just... Uh, uh, the, the complete thing. The backpack become a bit, little bit like in Pulp Fiction, that box. Everyone has, you know, in, like when we <laughs> premiered now in Mar del Plata, they they all referenced this. I had, I did not remember yeah. that part at all. I, I just only came to my mind right now. Like let's I, look for some references and. Not for really. me, uh, at the beginning was more uh, yeah Maltese Falcon, <laughs> which is also you don't you don't yeah. know why why that's uh, valuable. Yeah, we, we never know why it's valuable until he says it's the th- the stuff that me made dreams are made of. Yeah, then the point is like uh, the protagonist, he's like uh, dress up and picture it out as a gray man yeah. somehow, no? And you board him in a crazy adventure. For me, that's the me- best metaphor of the of the movie. I mean, with the whole respect for our audience, especially the one who attend Rebels with a cause because they are really brave, they, they, yeah. they, they risk it to do, go here, but we're going to take the great man you are in reality, put you in a screening room, and bring you oh. to an adventure. So it's audience could be this protagonist. Well, hopefully, I mean, we did, uh, I come from a very uh, classic uh, background in writing, not, mm-hmm. not in filmmaking, because I studied that in Argentina, which is kind of crazy. Um, but the structure of the film and the idea was that it's a crazy film, but one you can follow. When you don't know what's going on, it's it's okay. Yeah. Like you'll know you'll 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 know enough to follow us through. It's not one of these films that is gonna just leave you there. Like mm-hmm. okay, here's a ten thousand things. Figure it out. No, no, no. I feel like um, yeah, yeah. There is a string that yeah, and maybe this up. character does work like that with the audience. Like uh, it's the connective line, yeah. it's a link about everything. Yeah, because I'm still wondering like. That many elements that apparently they look so different. Where they come from? I mean, you, it looks like you you throw different elements and you just keep ones and then you put together. It's exactly that. <laughs> it, it, just I don't throw them. Okay. It's I work with a group of really really intelligent and, and yeah. talented people, and they all propose things, and I just pick the best ones out of that. Yeah, I, I pick whatever I think suits the story I, or suits the, the tone. It reminds me of this funny game that the surrealists used to have, you know, Calaveri Exquisito, yeah. the exquisite corpse. Yeah, that, it's like that, but with a boss. Yeah, like each <laughs> I, one, I still, I still. The, the sign one part of the body and then you open up and it's like, oh, crazy. Yeah. It's so, kind of that. I, I kind of guide the whole thing. It's not as as, as or as uh, uh-huh. random. But yeah, I'm kind of just, my, my job is just to pick the best ideas. So, yeah, I think if all these elements you don't dare to go, I don't know. I mean, yeah, first movie, first screening is uh, fully booked, sold out. Oh, so they have the chance for the next, but they have to run as they the protagonist of the tomorrow, movie. Tomorrow, right? Yeah, uh, I mean, yeah, as the Saturday, protagonist Sunday? of the... Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everyone has to run. <laughs> In general. So, thank you very much. 
uh, oh, Aita, you. for this movie, for being with us. And the only thing we can tell to the audience is like, now se te filmi. <laughs> <laughs>